if you wanted to give an extravagant gift 5000 years ago, you might have chosen an ostrich egg. Now some of these beautiful Easter egg sized objects are in London's British Museum. The eggs were found in Italy, but their origins have long been a mystery. Ostriches are not indigenous to Europe. Now, research into the museum's collection by an international team of archaeologists reveal new insight into their history. People across Europe, the Mediterranean, and North Africa traded ostrich eggs up to 5,000 years ago in the Bronze and Iron Ages. The eggs, however, were decorated in many ways, painted, adorned with ivory or precious metal, or covered in small glazed stones or other materials. The five eggs in the British Museum's collection are embellished with animals, flowers, geometric patterns, soldiers, and crayons. Archaeologists usually find the eggs in the burial sites of wealthier individuals, and there were probably luxury items, explained Dr. Tamar Hoods, the project leader at the University of Bristol. But working out where the eggs were laid can reveal more about their history. Dr. Hodo's team were keen to find out where the ostrich came, eggs came from and whether the ostrich were wild or farmed. Wild ostriches are extremely dangerous, so much so that the ancient Greek historian Zephon wrote that no one managed to capture them. Finding out this type of information helps us better understand the ancient civilization and trade patterns that laid the foundation of the modern world. Now the question arises, what did the researchers discover after all? The archaeologists analyzed isotopes or chemical elements in the eggshells, using modern ostrich eggs from Egypt, Israel, Jordan, and Turkey. The researchers compared isotopes in ancient and modern eggs to trace their origin. The findings suggest that ostrich eggs could have been traded across large distances in the Nile Delta in northern Egypt and the Levant, including Jordan, Syria, and Turkey. Dr. Hodo's team also believe that the ostriches were wild, suggesting that traders went to great lengths to obtain the eggs. It was a risky undertaking because the ostrich is incredibly dangerous. So not only did someone have to find the nest sites, but then they had to steal the eggs, Dr. Hodos explains. What did they find out about the acoustic decoration? The researchers used a number of tools and techniques to try to recreate the method ancient craftsmen used to decorate the eggs, but ultimately, the team was unable to replicate the decoration. This suggests the eggs hold many more secrets and in order to tell their fuller story, more search is needed. Dr. Hodo says the archaeologists now plan to investigate the symbolism and use of ostrich eggs and why they become so popular in the Mediterranean. So remember, if you're checking into a chocolate egg this Easter weekend, hear the latest in a very, very long line of people sharing decorated eggs. That was all from us from today's video. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and keep watching Beaming Wing for interesting context like this one.